A full week into this war, and the Shat al Arab waterway, which sparked the conflict, looks placid. Only the air raid warnings and the coming and going of military vehicles give any clue that the battle is very far from over. But just here, the Shat al Arab is safe anyway. The Iraqis had a bridge across to the bit of land they always owned here. Further down, where shipping from 20 nations lies trapped, it is less safe. All these ships are within range of the Iranians on the other side of the waterway. Outside the port, in the desert terrain beyond, lies just one of dozens of SAM missile bases. It is from these places that the real damage in the war has stemmed. And in the undergrowth at the edge of the waterway, Iraqi ground troops wait for their next exchange with Iran. <coughs> The Iranians on their side have now broken up into small pockets of resistance, occasionally unleashing a defiant blast across the river. The indications are that the Iraqis are meeting far more resistance from the Iranians than they ever expected to, and indeed far more resistance than anybody else outside Iran ever expected the Iranians capable of providing. To the north of these troops, the Iraqis have had it easy. They moved tank divisions across, meeting little opposition, and claiming large chunks of territory in the process. It is at places like Abadan, further down the waterway, that Iran has made a determined effort to hold on. The Iraqi onslaught on Abadan has turned the Middle East's day into night. The sun into a kind of moon attacked by oil-drenched vapor pouring across it. Before we could see the blaze, we met evidence of Iran's retaliation on the Iraqi side. A direct hit on a vital bridge. And then Abadan itself, once the biggest oil refinery in the world, now engulfed in acrid smoke, totally destroyed. And the Iraqis still pounding away at it and at the small bands of Iranians bent on defending it. <laughs> Iraq is making no attempt to preserve Iran's economic wealth around Abadan. The loss of lives in the Iranian attempts to de defend this area must be enormous, and yet these are factors that the Iraqis seem totally prepared to ignore. Further up on the Iranian side, their key port of Horam Shah, fiercely ablaze, another economic target that the Iraqis had expected to win quickly, but which the Iranians have fought so fiercely to save. The indications are that the Iraqis expected the Iranians to collapse much quicker, that they needed to seize Abadan quickly in order then to bargain for peace holding a trump card. The war is already lengthening against all expectation, and the uncertainties of what it will leave in its path still remain very high. John Snow, News at 1, Abadan. John Snow, News at 10, Abadan. John Snow, ITN, Abadan.